actually seeing the impact that Bridgeton's had has made me think more about why it's so important to be working alongside people who are going to be front-footed and are looking beyond the narratives and the aesthetics that they've been given growing up. Which one is your pick, my lord? Between her. Nectar. Well-bred, highly trained, and well-favoured. Nectar, really? Yes. I have a feeling about him. When you're working with a genre like romance, which is about something fundamental that connects all humans, it's so important that we can allow everyone to see themselves in that story. And that, that wasn't necessarily there for me growing up. Being able to fill the space playing a straight character, but as an openly gay actor. And that, to me, is just one aspect. Of course, we have race, we have the blackness and the colour in Bridgerton. We now have the amazing South Indian, specifically dark-skinned South Indian representation. There are no limits to where Bridgerton is going to go in terms of allowing people to be seen. And so that's why I think when people enjoy Bridgerton, it's a success and, and it's a celebration for all of us. It's a reflection on how we are moving as a society and as a, as a global unit. I just thought, you know, this was a visceral piece that was written over 10 years ago by Mike Bartlett. And it felt like it actually had themes that were super resonant and even more prescient now with the conversation about um, labeling and gender and how that's changing in a really fascinating way. It feels probably one of the most expansive thematically and emotionally plays that I've uh, worked on. Leadership is about authenticity and transparency and being there and being there to understand as much as you can. There's a fearlessness to it. <laughs> 